Hey, welcome back to Baird's Grid. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. In today's video, I'm gonna show you, well, it's part two, really, of the hybrid classroom. Uh, in part one, I showed you how you can use your computer to present um, presentations in the classroom if you've got students in class as well as online. Okay, so what we're gonna do in today's video to set up a hybrid classroom is we're gonna to connect to a Google Meet or a Zoom or a Cisco WebEx on two devices, okay? One's gonna be your host device and then you're gonna log it in as yourself again on a second device to show your whiteboard. A lot of lessons are using a whiteboard, okay? Or you might be doing um, a lab test, okay? Something in your lab, a science lab. Uh, so you do need to see like the physical demonstration. In today's video though, we're gonna show you like how we can utilize the whiteboard teaching uh, online as well as um, in the classroom, a hybrid lesson. So what I'll do first is I'm gonna log into this device. I'm just gonna log in uh, to the start a meeting here and make sure when I start a meeting that I'm gonna give this meeting a nickname, okay? So just to, for convenience sake, let's just say hello one and let's join that meeting. Let's wait for it to, to load up. So I'm gonna do the same thing now to a second device. I'm just gonna do this on my iPad. You can do this on uh, your smartphone, whatever secondary device you're gonna have. One thing to be sure of though, is that on your secondary device, make sure that it's at eye level or it's at least at a level where you can present the board clearly, okay? So what I'm gonna be doing here is, if you're using a smartphone, just use a tripod or something. Um, if you're using a computer or a laptop, you can choose, you know, you can use one of these things. <laughs> the best thing I've found is, you know, get a stationary box and an old empty cardboard box and just use that to prop up your computer. So here I'm gonna be propping up my um, iPad in this case. So here we go, I'm gonna log in to Google Meet and I'm gonna log in using the same code that I logged in with before, okay? So let's go ahead and go to Google Meet. Uh, and remember, I'm gonna be joining a meeting this time. So type in the hello one and then you can join with that meeting code. Make sure that the camera is on, but maybe the mic is off, okay? Let's go ahead and join that meeting. Now, once we've joined that meeting, uh, you wanna turn this camera around to your back facing camera. You can do this as well on any smartphone, whether it's Android or it's an iPhone. What to do, you can go ahead and you can switch the camera around, okay? Google is always updating Google Meet. Right now, you can see that the camera switch button is up here, okay? So you're gonna have to navigate and find where it is on your device. You can see now, my camera view is using the back screen. So I can now adjust this where I've got this fully uh, in the frame. So I'm happy with that. That's fully in the frame. This is the view that I'm getting from this camera. So if I quickly scoot over, and I'm now doing my lesson, okay, or doing my science lab or whatever, I'm doing it on the board. Uh, as I'm writing, okay, the students online can see. Now the benefit of this is my students in my class are obviously engaged as well. I can engage with my students at the same time with students that are online. Now remember, I have um, logged into both devices. I would get them to pin uh, that screen, okay, so they can always see this. At the same time, I've got my second device here. I don't even need this camera on. This is the host device's camera. I can turn this camera off, okay? And what I can do, and what I would get students to do, is I would get them to pin this, uh, my secondary device, I will pin that to the board. So I can see the messages here, I can see who's here, I can take my attendance. If I enable grid view, I can see all of my other students as well. Okay, so I would see all of the range of my students. I could continue to engage with students online. The whole point of it is to engage with the students that are in my class, as well as those students that are online. So this is a very useful hybrid um, classroom setup, okay? All you need is a secondary device that um, displays your current whiteboard, and I can see it there myself. It does seem as if on your device that it's inverted. It's not though, because all your participants that log into the Google Meet will see your device written properly, okay? So as you're writing, it is not mirrored. They will see it perfectly correct. So if I'm writing today's exercise, okay, and uh, I want them to go and do something, of course, uh, they'll be able to read that. Just make sure I deliberately uh, avoided putting the two devices on the same table, okay? I've deliberately done that because you don't want this to shake at all. The minute this shakes, you will see on the screen, okay, 
No, it's not shaking, that's, it's quite sturdy actually. But the minute this shakes, someone's kicking it or you're taking attendance on your first device, this is gonna shake and it's gonna give them nausea. <laughs> Students out online are gonna get nauseous joining your class. So just make sure you have thought of everything before this is up and running. Remember, this is just in a cardboard box. It could be a phone on a stack of books. That would work perfectly fine. Um, as always, I hope uh, you've learned something from this. It's been useful. Uh, if you have and you think someone else would benefit from it, then consider sharing it. Um, turn on notifications if you're interested in more EdTech videos. I've done quite a few on the Google Classroom and the Google Meets and other Google Suite uh, applications. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.